On today's Spit Hit, we improve those lives just a little bit more with some of that life advice, like neighbors who were expecting favors, and of course, proper bidet use. We talk about some terrible things that may or may not have taken place on a school bus, as well as an awesome apocalyptic draft. Make sure you subscribe, and make sure you tell some friends, and enjoy the show. Spit Wands, I am always excited to talk about this sponsor because I had their product before they were even a sponsor on this show, and that is Peloton. The Peloton Bike and Bike Plus are ringing in the new year with so much new. New classes, new music, new ways to keep your workouts fun and motivating. If you've listened to this pod for any length of time, you've heard me talk about Peloton. I love it. I went, I was I was very nervous at first to get the Peloton. Will I really use this? Like, is this the tool that can help me get to my my fitness goals? And the answer is a resounding yes. I love it. I love challenging my friends who have Pelotons. We get in competitions all the time. Like, hey, can you ride 10 straight days? Well, I need a little bit of motivation because I'm going to do it as well. They have all different kinds of instructors to find and match with your perfect personality. Like, I love a ride with Alex Toussaint. He fires me up. His playlists are always crushing it. They've been putting in pop punk playlists, and you know that's my jam. Growing up in the 90s, like I just I love my Peloton. I ride all the time, and I feel so much better every single time I ride. And right now, for a limited time, you can try the Peloton app for free for two months, and then just $12.99 a month after. New members only. Visit onepeloton.com slash app to learn more. That's two months for free at O-N-E-P-E-L-O-T-O-N dot com. Offer expires one thirty one twenty two. Terms apply. What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Let's squeed up a deep up a deep up a lama lama ding dong. You know if I like a good ding dong ending, baby. <laughs> if we don't end with a ding dong, it's not a real scat. That's okay. right. I've seen the feedback to the Andy scats. Yeah, you, you, you're, siphoning unlo- the, you're siphoning my endings. I, I unlocked get it. the secret sauce. <laughs> the secret. It's, it's really just a ding well, dong, man. Well, I say, but I, I didn't go ba ding dong. I went no llama dama ding dong. No, you. It was a. I inspired it, but yeah, you I, made, I you took made it, it your own, and I improved upon it. TBD on the improvement, <laughs> but we'll we'll take it. It was a good scat. I I'm not complaining. We no, are would, uh, just as a impartial third party is the only one here. I, I would say improved. Oh, thank thank you so much. The the best part about that was as uh, sorry Andy is uh, the truth to to peel back the curtain. We were trying to start recording probably what like 15 minutes ago. That's or an so. exaggeration. I. <laughs> That's so, an exaggeration. But, but then Andy had a call, and it was it was fine. And uh, we, we finally hit record, and we're going. I think I realized about uh, two bars before the scat that I was up. <laughs> <laughs> so that was just, that was off the top of the dome, well, my it was not. It was not bad. And we're, you know, we're doing well as a show, scat-wise. I think we, we hit more than we miss. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, Not every show has a scat. Not many shows take the chance on having a scat, and business. we do. It's risky business. No, no risk it, no biscuit. That's what and they it's say. there's nothing Jason likes more than this. It's scat. my favorite so, part of the Spitballers podcast of being one of the three hosts here is um, having when we to do scat? this. Is, <laughs> getting yes, <with> is, <laughs> well, when when Andy says we hit more than we miss, that's because two of you can do it. That's right, and then one third. Is yeah, me. we're a hundred, hundred plus scats in, and Mike, I, I think we just, we just, we just admit that Jason's kind of, he's I drinking love, water from a stein. The, by the, the way, uh, that is a a I massive drink. stein of water, Mister Improv or vodka, Mister. <laughs> well, who knows, Mister Improv, Mister Groundling. I know can't handle a simple two bar scat boop, boop, intro. Nick, no. Look, uh, they're not all winners. I've had, I've, I've had some gyms. I've crushed it a few times. I think a few. I think you're. Has he crushed, or has wow. he hit like a six out of ten once? <laughs> like I said, crushing it. I, he's cleared the Mendoza line. We're all right. 
Okay. Well, we have a great show for you today. We'll share a review with you from one of our fine Spitballers fans. A would you rather, some life advice, a great draft. If you're watching on youtube.com slash spitballers, my background right now is a little bit of a hint for what's coming in the draft. I am amidst a, uh, I'm in a, I'm in a desolate landscape. You look Ooh, like you're mine. We're yes. drafting favorite things from Arizona, going from Andy's background. <laughs> well, you know Arizona would be more rocky than this, Mike, and there'd be cactuses and scorpions everywhere. So this is a much nicer <laughs> arid landscape. But uh, let's go ahead and jump right into that review. Review Asaurus Rex. This one comes in from Frank. You very much. He says. <laughs> Five stars, unfiltered, hilarious, factual <laughs> opinions. I've loved this podcast since I stumbled upon it. I actually went back and listened to every episode. Oh, I never, sorry, Frank. I never reviewed it because I wanted the review to be perfectly witty and charming. But then I realized what makes this podcast so great is its unfilteredness. This podcast has made many Mondays better. And now that I'm an official spit wad, Ooh. Fridays as well. Mm. I love uh, taking the questions from the show and spitballing with my friends and family. Ten out of five stars. You've done the I impossible. Didn't even, I didn't Ooh. think you could do it. But Frank, you very much. Thank you very much. That means he, he reviewed it, and then he also stole a phone and reviewed it on that phone. And that would be as 10 out of five. We recommend. As we, as we recommend. Thank you. Thank you very much for that review. We It is our goal to make your Mondays better. And then, you know, now we have enough episodes out there that... We can make your Tuesdays and your Wednesdays and your Thursdays better for a while till you catch all the way up. Mm. And Did then guys... it, it, it's just crescendoing on Mike's scat. Oh, well, then we have peaked, clearly. <laughs> but did you guys ever have someone in your life growing up? I, I don't know. It was a weird no. flashback you oh, gave sorry. me. But uh, did you ever have someone who said the word day differently? I and, have no idea like, what you mean. Specifically, I, I had a my band teacher... But this is an instructor at my place of education. He pronounced it D. So it was on Thursday, we do this on Friday. And it was like, what did is you have him arrested? <laughs> yeah, I don't La think we later, should. much later. But it was so you. OK, uh, th this is just me that I've had this experience with. Yeah, with the, because the there's only one teacher. Yeah, there aren't a lot of psychopaths out there. So you're the, you're the only one that's experienced. I that. don't feel comfortable making light of this because I feel like there's a. There's something real going on here. This is some kind of, you know, mental shortcoming of that well, teacher. We make, your Monday, we make your Monday better. Eventually, we make every Monday better. Eventually, he drove off in a windowless van, and it was just everything oh, was fine. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes Thursday. sense. Thursday. Well, well, welcome to uh, making your Mondays better. Oh, gross. All Ooh, right. That Let's... sounds too much like undies. <laughs> making, making, making your, your undies? Yeah, making your, your undies better. Yeah, that, none of this works. <laughs> Let's move on. Would you rather? All right. This one comes in from Mac. Mac is a Patreon supporter. Oh, thank you, Mac. Would you rather be able to see through physical things, so walls, Ooh. doors, etc., or be able to see through figurative things like scams, lies, oh, false man. promises, mm. and some fine print? This shouldn't be on Would You Rather. This should be a that's a great question. It is. This, Mac, is a great question. It's both. Could you? I've always wondered if you can see through walls and doors and stuff like that, does that mean you accidentally walk into them? Because you don't see them at all. No, no. You uh, see you the outline. Like, you see the wireframe. Do you? And, that's and the rules like of wall hacking. You can control okay, okay, this. Okay. You can control it. You oh, can turn it on and off? Exactly. Turn it on and off. Turn the distance further, close, okay, whatever you okay. need. This is this what is your ability. This is your life. But what good does it, what good does it give you Look, to it's, see? It's like, excellent for uh, video games when you have to shoot people. <laughs> that's like that's about the extent of wall hacking that I know of. Uh, yeah, paintball I mean, games when you have to shoot. Oh, people. there you go. Okay, real life application. Mm -hmm. If you're a SWAT team member and you gotta <laughs> shoot people, you know, so there's wait, so many applications. It's good to. Sh it's easier to shoot people if you can see them coming from behind a wall. Is what you're saying? Yes, yeah, you want the wall much, for protection. Much easier. Yeah. But the other one, it seems like, especially in our uh, 
difficult to discern political landscape, uh, all of the consumer fraud that happens, all of the things that take place. It might be nice to just know truth from a lie yeah, at a quick everything's glance. A, everything's a lie. You're just going to become a pessimist. <laughs> you're going to see through everything. All these false promises. Well, you're not going to be a pessimist because you'll, oh, you'll just know it's true and you'll you realize the world ev- sucks. Exactly. You're going to see through. I mean, it'll protect you from a couple of big events, but all the little things. You'd see through every single lie. Someone says, oh, yeah, I can't wait to come to your birthday. It'd like, be nice when you're car you're shopping. You're a jerk because that ain't true. Like yeah. Jason looking slim. Mm. Yeah, I saw right. <laughs> I saw right through it, Mike. This is not a an ability that I am coveting right now. Wait, what? Now, now, do you just know intuitively, or do, like, do you actually hear the person saying the truth, and they think they're telling the lie because that's a lot more fascinating to me. Like a telemarketer calls you with this great offer, but then but then you would actually hear them speak the truth. I think that that could be, that could be fun. Oh, so that be- they just call you up and they say, listen, sir, I'm glad I caught you this afternoon. I would like your money. <laughs> sir, your money would make me happy right now. It is part of is, my job. <laughs> is absolute trash, but my commission is gigantic. Okay, now, I have <laughs> to continue talking and not let you get a word in, <laughs> because otherwise you're going to hang the phone up on me, and I will not let that happen. That, w- that would be more entertaining, but I-, I would presume that you just know when someone's telling you something, you see you see the truth. I'm willing but- to come down on this truck's price over $15,000, but I'm trying to get thirty five out of you. <laughs> So that would be nice. That would, and you wouldn't. You would. I feel like you wouldn't get hardened. You wouldn't get all pessimistic if if you heard just people telling the truth like that all the time, Jay. If I got to hear them, I would just hate everybody, though. <laughs> I mean, it would be like, man, that was a real jerk thing to say because they'd be saying the truth. So maybe you'd rather I'm, be. Uh, maybe you'd this rather is, be a, in a lying. You just believe the lie. Ignorance is bliss. That's right. a phrase for a reason. Right. I think if we knew the hearts of mankind we'd be sadder and maybe that's my pessimistic view of the you're world already I'm, pessimistic. I'm already pessimistic but i also think if i were a burglar how cool it would be to see which safe has the goods so you're gonna go physical things <laughs> are, for, are safes you're gonna really steal the things. things these days well like, yeah they, and usually there's two or three the, next to each other big right now Mike. and you're not sure which to crack <laughs> but you don't keep you your money in a through, big old safe with a big old one of those turn handles I do keep my cash at home in a safe. That is true. Uh, really? Well, and your, address, really your address What's again? the code? Ooh, <laughs> I'm, I'm tempted to say it. No, just give us your address and the code. Yeah, that's all sure. we need. And your uh, social. Yeah, the address. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> um, he almost did it. Well, yeah. I, th- I thought about giving out one of your addresses, but yeah, um, I'm, a, I'm a good friend. Well, it's a podcast. We're recording this. We can really edit it. I mean, that's the truth. Uh, okay, so I will go figurative. I'd, I'd rather just be able to have the upper hand on all these liars. Yeah, it, it seems more Also, helpful. do you even know your code? Yes, I do know my code. Okay. Thankfully, it's, it's a... One, it's a, two, it's, three, four. It is, it is very simple. <laughs> There's only four buttons. It's a, it's a little tiny, like, hand gun safe. Triangle, heart, <laughs> circle, square. Yeah. It's so it's emojis. just... No, there, it's like a hand print, and it's there's emojis. four... There's wink, like wink, four smile, finger wink. cutouts. Okay, You've never seen what? one in a safe like that? It's like, it's a, it's a I little... don't have a safe, Jason, because I don't live in the Wild West. <laughs> I have that exact same safe. I know what you're <laughs> yes, about. Thank yeah, you, Al. You well, do. yeah, the gunman has the yeah, gun safe, I'm sure. <laughs> How many safes do you own, Al? Oh my gosh, that's a good question. Two. He's got and safes it, for two. his safe. I knew it had to be two. more than and one. How, I... how far underground are they? <laughs> They're both above ground. Okay. Incredible. Oh, that's um, boring. I am going to start a social media account, and I've seen some of these. They are extremely successful. Just that an account? focused on scaring people, just r- waiting around oh. a corner and just boo. Scare. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to yeah. see them. I know when they're coming. I don't. Ha- I can oh, time up every okay. scare perfect. I'm taking the physical walls. I'm going to have a blast with this. I'm going to entertain okay. the masses, and I will stay positive about people lying to me. My- Mike and I will start one of those like uh, news channel on your side things, and we'll be able to see through all the, the frauds. And we'll- So I get both. I-, I listen to your news source. 
There you go. Dang it. And I scare the crap out of you. So all right, De- great. <laughs> Derek from Patreon. Would you rather lose all the money you have earned in the past year or lose all of the memories you have gained in the last year? Well, that, Derek, it's the wrong time to ask that question. I was going to say. I was going to say. <laughs> Wait, I, so I can wipe, the, I can wipe I can, out 2020? Yeah. Sweet. It's gone. Kapoof. But you know what I still got? <laughs> the money. <laughs> It's a pretty sweet deal. And I'm going to wake up and go, wow, where'd this money come from? Now imagine the alternative. <laughs> imagine that you've got all your money's gone, but you still had to go through all the crap. Oh, you mean like most people right now? <laughs> yeah. So That's what I'm saying. For all of us, if we could just smoke bomb 2020, I think most people would. Okay, well, that. here, here. Let, let's, Versus let's smoke it. bombing our cash. Okay, no, yeah. hold up. Hold up. Five years. Five years. Five memories years of money or children. five years of memory? I'll take the memories. Keep the memories. Ooh. If I've no had question. no money for I'm not five smoke years, bombing we're... Fi- don't I mean, care. if I've had no money for the last five years, we're homeless. So the memories are terrible. Like, <laughs> <laughs> It's a strong point. Right? I mean, the it's... memories are us scrounging for food in the dumpster. Oh, what great memory. Can I wipe both? Well, I imagine you're just... Yeah, I guess. I guess. So wait, this is weird because it's like a time travel thing then. Am I looking at my last five years in actuality, or am I replacing those last five years with homeless memories? Because there's a big difference. No, there's no memories. There's no memories. You're just you're waking up with a gigantic beard, and you don't know how you got there. Yeah, but that's if you take the money. Andy's saying if you take the yeah. memories, if and you, you take lose the, memories, the money, does that change those? Like, there's those no way I trade my actual know. five years of memories. I'm very confused. With I my didn't kids. go to I didn't go to Disneyland when I had no money, so that's no longer a memory. <laughs> Al, can you help us here? <laughs> I don't think anyone can. <laughs> yeah, I don't, it's a tough one. It says Next. you lose all the memories you've gained in the last year, so that would be the normal ones you have with money. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll, I'll be the guy okay. taking the I'd money. I'd say if, if you made a hundred grand last year, you're you now have a hundred thousand dollar deficit. Oh, okay. So I say take we on ask the, the next question. That's yeah. That <laughs> sounds that's that's a great question. Jesse from Patreon. Assuming the salaries are equal, would you rather be a garbage truck driver or oh. a school bus driver? Oh, this is not what. This is a I layup. Mean, this is a layup. Up. This is difficult for people. This is garbage dunking truck. on a five garbage foot hoop. truck. <laughs> This is I'm six I'm almost six feet tall. Give me a five foot hoop. I will lay that ball right in that garbage truck <laughs> because I ain't dealing with them monsters. There is uh, no reason. No did you reason. Guys have, did you guys ride the bus for any field length trips? Of your your uh, that was it. That was the only yeah. Time that was it for me too. So yeah. there was it, when I was in high school. There was like a a week where we we had moved and we hadn't figured. So I rode the bus a couple of times mm. and it was the weirdest experience I had ever had in my life to that point and that's as a kid i can't imagine the drag i can fix this question i can fix it instead of driving a bus or driving a garbage truck you're you're the one throwing the trash in the back of the truck you're the guy standing there house to house picking up the trash can dumping the trash in the truck putting the trash can back and moving on that sounds like a great life (laughs) that's better than the kids look i as one who rode a bus for multiple years both my junior high and my high school were were multiple miles away and i saw like i was i thankfully i was not the i wasn't the troublemaker uh growing up in my youth but there was a few of them on the bus and those children in the back of the bus committed horrific acts now horrifically uh, bad crimes Here's uh, the thing, the, though. No, I I witnessed a few crimes <laughs> in in my day as as one who was growing. You're scaring up. all the parents with kids on buses right as now. As they if they rode be. a bus, they know what I'm talking about. Yes, con- congratulations for the wisdom here. You're seeing through the lies. Um, your news station is already at work. But my my thinking is, what if bus drivers were paid two hundred and fifty thousand dollars? Oh, what different bus drivers <laughs> you would get? Because right now. School bus drivers, they're oh, are, they're, I'm, I'm sure they're underpaid. They have uh, to be. It's I'm just saying, like, you know, there's there's a stereotype. I'm sure there's some wonderful school bus drivers, but I'm very confident there's there's some school bus drivers that don't don't care. You know, the, I mean, I wouldn't care if I. But what if I see? I feel like if I take the school bus driver, 
I'm going to come in there like, you know, the, the, the teacher that's, that's taking the, the hard job and going to rally those kids together. I'm going to no, make this school bus. Because no. you're being paid $250,000? No, I'm just saying it's just, it, like any job out there. I'm saying the underpaid, you know, like teachers, right? If you want to get better teachers or have more people want to go into teaching, people say that. Take your shot some, at what a school bus driver makes here in Arizona, because I got the number for you. 39, 30, 35, uh, uh, 39, no 35,000. $34,116. Boom. Okay. Oh, here's here here's the here's what I will say about you, Jason. Thinking you can turn around what is happening inside of a bus. Number one, remember how long they are, and that there are kids sitting in, in the back of the bus. I <laughs> okay, okay. Now, I'll just this. I'll just throw this one instance out of things that I witnessed as growing Uh-oh. up. <laughs> yeah, I saw someone earmuffs, earmuffs, kids. <laughs> well, no, they'll hear this and go, no, this is horrifying. I saw someone as we drove past a crossing guard for a different school, for the elementary school, chuck scissors out the window at this crossing guard. These are the people that you're dealing with on your school bus, Jason. You're going to turn this around? Did you go to school at a prison? No. Was this the problem? Did you? No. I mean... <laughs> I didn't have kids at my school that would throw scissors because at Because you weren't person. on the bus, man. Rik- Riker Island High School. I remember you, that, yeah. You weren't on the bus. Terrible things happened back there. We need more people. We need more grown-ups on the bus. This is what we need. Oh, you need a bus driver and then a back of the bus like yes. Uh, yes. butler. I don't know what you call Butler? <laughs> Certainly not a butler. <laughs> well, I would like to hire you for a back of the bus butler role. It just, but how does that? It how pays does that eleven dollars per year. The alliteration, would you like some grapes. <laughs> the alliteration is great. The back of the bus butler. Um, fully. That's got to be the back of the bus guy's got to be the uh, like the airplane air marshal. Yes, it's like the they're, air. They're yeah, packing the, heat the and they're just sitting. They're sitting in, but they're wearing the little spinny caps <laughs> and acting like the kid. I'll tell you what, my. <laughs> He's got, a, but he's got a full beard. He's got a full beard, but he's back there going, "Hey, kids! My, hey, my bus, so young scissors? kids! My bus needed that thing because there were some kids that I did not want to be riding a bus with. Because you, you get lumped in with that, and then the bus driver, like now, now everyone on the bus is that kid. Oh. And you look like the kind of guy now that would throw scissors, Mike. No offense. Well, you like certainly do. Well, just I mean, maybe like safety scissors. Yeah, <laughs> for fun. Uh, look, if we're changing it to where I have to be the one loading and basically digging through this garbage, smelling like garbage, mm. I am going to be the school bus driver, yeah, and I am too. going to turn that bus Mm-mm. into children of gold. No, you're gonna you make are the not. you're gonna make the inspirational I will be lifetime Michelle movie. Pfeiffer. You're making yes. the movie where you're the yeah Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> I am gonna movie? be Michelle Dead Pfeiffer. Poet Society. No, no it wasn't Dead Poet. That was it was uh, uh, something Minds. Yeah, d- dangerous, dangerous mind. mind. Dangerous with mind. Coolio. Oh, that's right, Coolio. <laughs> yeah, I'll be Coolio. <laughs> Look, th- the kids those would are, love me. Those kids are the always words love me. from a person who has never been on a bus yeah, with junior yeah. high kids. All right, m- <laughs> this question comes in from Mush. <laughs> Mush from Mush from the website. Mush. W- would you rather see Mush. everything upside down or hear everything in reverse? Holy moly! So, like, you're a. I have a, questions. You're a bat. So you well, are well, visually are your eye? It's like your down. eyeballs are upside down. Yes, it's like your eyeballs are upside down. I feel like you would just adjust to that, wouldn't you? Eventually, if that's what eventually life you is, would. Yeah, you would. And if I'm wouldn't you adjust ceiling, to hearing in reverse, though? No, you would never learn language if you heard Maybe. everything in reverse. Oh, that, wouldn't no, you learn it? That's a, that's a great point. If if that happened from the very very beginning, because then that would just be your language. No, because your sound is determinative of everything you do and say i mean you you wouldn't you wouldn't speak out you know you wouldn't be able to talk right if everything that you're hearing is in reverse and so nobody would understand you that's what that, I that part is true but you would understand everybody else right but if i fully adjust to being upside down maybe there's maybe there's even benefits there seeing the <laughs> world from a different perspective you don't. You're not buying it. Let's flip this upside down. You sound, I don't you even sound know like how a that wacky works. school bus driver. Hey kids! Hey kids! We you ever seen it this down? point of view? I got some Lionel Richie playing, dancing <laughs> on the ceiling over here. 
That's I don't even. I can't really comprehend seeing the world upside down. Isn't there something where, like, when try. you look through, when you look through some kind of water or, uh, you're, Mike, you love <laughs> keep science. Going. No, keep yeah, going. Sure. Isn't there the something scientist. where when you when you look through a cup, it flips, it flips everything upside down? I don't know about upside down, but I mean the the light gets diffracted, so it gets the, the light bends and makes things appear He's, different. Jason That's like, is actively googling how do I see things upside down. I'm sure Turn your head a over. Prism or something you can look at that would flip everything upside down. All I have found is how you can flip a cup of full water upside down. So uh, this is not helpful. No, well, don't don't worry. I looked up. I tried to look at Google how to say idiot backwards so I can insult you, but I uh, I failed there too. So, uh, any other know. thoughts on this one? I'll take the uh, I'll take the upside down. Sure. Yeah, I'm I'm dancing on the ceiling. <laughs> Spitwatch kick off 2022 with a better checking account with no monthly fees. Chime, an award-winning app and debit card, has no overdraft fees, foreign transaction fees, monthly fees, or service fees. And with over 60,000 fee-free in-network ATMs at many locations like Walgreens, 7-Eleven, CVS, you can access your money when you need it, where you need it. Make your first good decision of the new year and join over 10 million people using Chime. Sign-up takes only two minutes. It doesn't affect your credit score, and you can get started at Chime.com slash ballers. That's Chime.com slash ballers. You can send money to anyone, even if they aren't on Chime, fee-free for you, and no cash-out fees for them. Banking services provided by a debit card issued by the Bancorp Bank or Stripe Bank, NA members FDIC, get fee-free transactions at any MoneyPass ATM in a 7-Eleven location and at any AllPoint or Visa Plus Alliance ATM. Otherwise, out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. Sometimes pay anyone instant transfers can be delayed. The recipient must use a valid debit card or be a Chime member to claim funds. Spitballers to the rescue. All right, we haven't done a life advice segment in a while, and we have so much to bestow, especially with the experiences that we have, like Mike's uh, years on the bus. We can give advice. We can change lives. Victoria, I can start a whole podcast, things Beth, Mike has seen on a bus in junior high, crimes I've witnessed, <laughs> <laughs> tales of I've a bus <laughs> ride. <laughs> it's just like Frank, you very much said. These are factual opinions that are going right. to help people. Victoria from Twitter has a life advice question for us. Hey, ballers. Hey. What hey. is the best way to handle a neighbor who keeps asking me to feed their cats while they are on vacation? We are not close, and they have a very specific, complex schedule in which they want their stupid cats fed. <laughs> I helped a few times in an attempt to oh, be a good no. neighbor, but now it has become expected Help. Mm, that sucks. Now, obviously, I have a few ideas here. the answer here, Victoria, would have been to never help at all. Yes. Now you are trained in the complex methods and one of the only trained people. But mm. what does she do? You know now? what you aren't? You aren't super allergic to cats already. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's a card you me play so much. In that's my a life. card you play in the beginning. I, you know, I just can't. I'm really allergic to cats if I'm dealing with, you know, so, so I would love to. Sorry. If you let but, one of the cats pass. See, that was, that's a good idea you won't be the, asked again the initial reaction inside of me that that was is i saw the depths and i went there <laughs> like you're never being asked back and i was trying to formulate okay what's a plan that you can help flip the script without inadvertently yeah, does, she have, a, does or, she have a real way out of this Yes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, here was my plan. I don't. I don't. I haven't fleshed it all out yet because I just heard this question. But you have to come up with something equally as complex, if not far more. For and them now to this. Do? And now this neighbor has to help you out. Yeah. And they like like what could what could they possibly ask the neighbor? You have to do this. Like oh, I have oh man, like I have a package that is going to show up between. 6 a.m. and midnight, and I <laughs> cannot miss it. I'm going to be gone, but this is a really important situation. Mm -hmm. I need you watching my front door from 6 a.m. to midnight, and, and then once it, you get the package, you need to go into my backyard, and then there's going to be this labyrinth that they have to go through. I mean, you have to make an 
unbelievably this seems like a lot of work, situation. Mike. You're making a lot of work for yourself. Oh, but it will be. But here's the thing. A lot of work right now, and then no more feeding the fat cats later. Yeah. I mean, I, and whatever you order that shows up, if you do, you know what I'm saying? Like, they keep an eye out all day and nothing ever shows up. Uh, but I would make it heavy. And then you, no, no, nothing, nothing shows up. Then and you then you ask them. them and you say, well, well, no, they told me it, it says showed it was up. delivered. They oh, said my no. neighbor accepted the package. <laughs> but here's the thing. Yes. It, it, but if that happens, you're paying them back, but that's not going to get you out of the cat situation. No. Oh, what, what gets 1, you out of the cat situation? It, you are, what? You're Scott Clean, man. You, you tell them that they told me the package showed up and you're telling me it never did. And then the next time they ask you, hey, can you feed my cats? Be like, yeah, where's my package? So you're just saying, hate your neighbor, have a big yeah, fight. Yeah, that's what then, I heard. Look, yeah. this is a very simple solution, solution, Jason. Oh, that you, right. A non-confrontational solution that you can take. Because I know you don't like confront, confrontation. I hate it. Plan 100% of your family's vacations around their vacations. This is what... No, you're you're 100% right. This was my <laughs> genuine advice. And listen, I have done this move before. <laughs> no, you have not. Real life. You've booked Real a vacation life. to get out of a responsibility? Absolutely. Because the, the, when certain... <laughs> When certain people come asking certain things that you have to say yes to, guess what comes up the next day on the sketch? Something I can't get out of. And it's not a lie. I'm going and I'm booking. Uh, oh, my gosh. I'm going to be in Miami on the beach. I forgot about our family vacay. It's always going to happen. I forgot. I mean, mm. I'm just saying the Andy is 100 percent right here as this is this is good news. This is absolutely good news victoria when you when your friends or neighbors go on their vacation you get a vacation every yeah. time yeah this is uh, congratulations and then you you either that or move i mean obviously you could just move just move yeah. away or accept the responsibility don't do jack just they'll they'll but live that's called killing cats i mean i, that is I, I don't believe they'll die they'll find something to eat yeah, for, cats i mean it's do not seem like a two, eternal it's not like yeah. a two yeah they got a lot of lives from my understanding and and they'll be fine. You have but to when, do it nine times to really get rid of them. Oof, that's a lot of. When the neighbor <laughs> returns, they think you did the job. The cats are hungry, and so they'll ask you again. Be, oh, absolutely! It was so easy last time. Hmm. Done. Or check this out, Victoria. No, <laughs> that is one other option. Well, Sorry, Brooks. Brooks brought up the fact that this is like Mike's answer was like when you try to get somebody to break up with you instead of just breaking it off yourself. <laughs> So Look, breaking up with people is hard. It is I difficult think I did when it once. <laughs> it's difficult when you do something nice and then people take advantage of you mm -hmm. after the fact. Like you've learned this cat schedule, you help them out, but now you're their go-to, and that's that's the problem. All right, Isaac from Patreon. I need some life advice. Well, you've come to the right place, Isaac. Mm, yes, I'm 16 and a guitar player like my dad. Oh. When I asked him to listen to a song I'm working on, learning or working on and learning, so he can help me. He just takes the guitar from me, plays the entire song, and doesn't actually help me. Yes. I'm just left there sitting, mm. listening to my dad play my guitar. Mm. How can I tell him what he's doing isn't actually helping me? Well, Isaac, I can relate. Mm. I can relate to this because oh. I take the controller and beat the level when my kids have a problem with yeah. a video game. It's called dad's rights. And it's a problem because teaching takes patience and I'm a bad dad. You Boy. know what you do? Isaac, you grow up, you have a kid and you do the same to your child. <laughs> this is, this is just Isaac's dad. He's establishing dominance. Yeah. He's doing he's what just, he's got to do. Have you ever seen this one? <laughs> Hey, Isaac, remember when I'm good at guitar and you're not? <laughs> yes. Look what you can do someday if you practice. <laughs> mm. Here, get better. Yeah, That's I mean, tough. I, th Mike, I think you he's helping you. I, I, he's helping you. He's letting you know what you could possibly be. Because some, sometimes when you hear something, you think, no, nah, this, is, this is an impossibility. No one's actually this good at the guitar. And, and your father is just showing you, yeah. People he's helping, good. You, he's helping yeah. you until he closes his eyes. Once he closes his eyes playing the song, he is no longer helping you. <laughs> he's just in his own place. He's, he's having a, a jam session. That's the session. moment you go from teaching your child to forgetting about them. Now, my hope, and I, I don't know the details here, Isaac, my hope is that when he 
when he's helping you and he takes the guitar, this is several hours then before you get that guitar back. <laughs> he is just he's just going to Isaac town. has left the room. He went. Yeah, and he he's had still dinner. in there. Isaac's bringing him dinner uh, in the bedroom. <laughs> uh, you know that's yeah. I mean, I, I, Isaac, this is dad's rights, um, and it's it's how dads teach their children best. Um, so my <laughs> by my, dunking on them, you're darn right. I mean, my kid can't get a shot off on me. I'm blocking him every time. He's like, I no, believe help. that. Oh. It's 100% true. Actually, my children have invented this game. I mean, mind, mind-blowing uh, creativity where I block every shot that they shoot. Like, do mm-hmm. we? it's the blocking mm-hmm. game. They ask okay. me to come out and block to where their goal is to try to get a shot off. Mm-hmm. And Can I ask you a question? It ain't ever happening. <laughs> it yeah. is, do your kids think that's what the game of basketball is? I think. Do they that- know that there's a hoop? To throw no, the ball into? They, they do. They've seen some real basketball before. So they they know now how good I am uh-huh. because they're they're still trying to do the real thing, uh, ending up with bloody noses because that ball's coming right back. You know what face. Isaac's dad does when he's trying to learn basketball from him is he pulls out the guitar and plays a sweet solo. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay. So do you guys, with your kids, and like all, all joking aside, actual life advice question here. When you are competing against your kids, like you're playing a video game, you're playing a board game, this isn't just basketball where you it's you're physically dominant over them because you're three feet taller than them. Like this it's is a game of video game skill or board game skill. Do you go hard full in the paint? Out? Hard do, in the paint? Do you play to win or do you play to accommodate that your children are learning the game? You don't want them to get real upset if they lose. How how do you guys handle those situations? I play one hundred and one percent, meaning I uh, uh, above above them. So I'm I'm playing, you know, which is like for me, it's like down to two percent. Um, okay, no, so you throttle it or you, I, you hit I the brakes thr- a little I, bit. I absolutely throttle it, but okay. here's the deal: if if the game starts getting close, <laughs> if they take a lead, I'll go up to two hundred percent, establish dominance, and then I'm back to like it's just. I just want to be slightly better than them forever. Okay, so you want to be slightly. All right, yeah. Andy, how do you do it? Yeah, I throttle it. I throttle <laughs> it. I like to keep it close. But if the game... Here's the pro, here's the two situations where I'm not throttling. One, <laughs> now, to be clear, throttling means I hold back. Yes, that's what I mean. Not, you're you're not, pulling the throttle back. Yeah, not like... Um, I guess you could say throttling them, like whooping their butt. But Sure. Right. Um, if they talk trash, mm. they will endure mm-hmm. a period of months of me defeating them. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean your Andy, your son, your son <laughs> talked trash to me, and he said I can beat you in a race swimming, and I'm like, not happening. Yeah, I did not go. I went a hundred on that, and I was waiting for him to show up at that finish line for yeah. a while. Man, he deserved it. He deserved when you it. talk trash, that's what you get. It was like Mike got to back I it remember, up. Your story about yeah. your son saying he could beat you in a race. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, yes, the, the the infamous race where at about halfway through, I started running backwards. <laughs> to Dad, had to know. feel good. <laughs> Eat it. Did because he cry after that race? No. Close? Uh, maybe a little bit. Yeah, maybe, maybe a little, a little bit. bit. He, was, he was not happy. Because uh, the reason I'm asking this is because I have never pulled the punch ever. Uh, not at all? <laughs> never. I have never well, pulled I mean, it. Like if you play, so if you played a board game that they're just learning, they're a young kid, they don't understand the strategy. I you're teach whooping them how to play, and I am better than them. And I, because I've told them, I said, just you know this: if you ever beat Dad, you have beaten Dad, because I have never pulled a punch Fair enough. against my children at so any. Your kids game have whatsoever. never won anything. Uh, I've been beaten in Madden a few times. Okay. Oh, oh, impressive. <laughs> All right, uh, Kara from the website, I need life advice for my husband who is too afraid to ask. Okay. Mm, okay. He purchased a bidet. Yes. Oh, good for you. In the wake of the TP panic of 2020, the bidet has been a wonderful addition to our household, and I can now relate to everything Jason has said about bidets. The problem, the problem is my husband is having a difficult time getting a clean finish when he mm. uses the bidet. He Googled... <laughs> He Googled, bidet isn't cleaning my butt, <laughs> but found no answers. So I have to turn to you. How does he improve the technique? Any help for his sticky situation okay. is appreciated. This is, this, is, this, is a real, this is a real humdinger. And 
And, you know, usually what you would say is, well, then, you know, you got a defective bidet. But Kara here ain't having no problems, okay? She's uh, relating to everything I'm saying about bidets. It's great. The bidet ain't the problem. It's called the diet. <laughs> it's, it's, what's, <laughs> it's what's going in, my man, that is hard garbage to Garbage in, clean. garbage out. That's what they right. say. It's hard to wash tar off the pavement. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying, and I think you do. <laughs> I just I'm so confused because is this not a, does this not happen to either of you? No, have, you're well, always let me a ask full you this. a squeaky clean. Let me let me ask you this, Andy. Have you have you ever gone to a sink to wash yes. your hands? And you you turn it on and you're washing your hands and you're like, man, this is really difficult. I'm having trouble using this water to wash my hands off. No, I, I haven't had that issue. Yeah, I don't understand what's happening. With no, Mike, he hasn't Mike, washed Mike. poop off his hands. No, I mean? haven't washed tar off my hands. Also, I have like, there's a visibility difference between the cleanliness down below and the cleanliness with my hands in a sink. Like I don't, it's, I'm flying blind downstairs. You are flying blind, but let me tell you, when you're hitting the bullseye, you know. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's, okay. pretty, it's pretty clear when there's, you a, know, when there's a direct okay. shot. You know that there's a bit of a, uh, you know, you can have different distribution issues down there depending on how things have gone. Before bidet sure. life, before bidet life, you ever you ever do a wipe and be like, oh, oh, oh be, what's over there on that yeah. side? Before <laughs> bidet life, yeah, before bidet life, there can be some. Di I could use a roll. I could use a roll every time. I mean, it just. It just ne it's never ending. The bidet has cl has cleared that up. I would say that maybe the water pressure isn't high enough. You know, the tuchus okay. is a little is a little like oh that's that's too much. No, it's not. It never is. Turn crank it up. <laughs> put it to eleven. I just I cannot get I cannot adopt the bidet life. Mm, it is it's now I, I've lost Why? too much. I've lost too much control, and it's it's a little bit uh, you know. Uh, so you you went. Frankly, full. it's a little too wet for me. <laughs> well, you still you still dab. You know oh, what is this dabbing? I mean, it, the toilet paper. Yeah, you take some. How do you paper, move you... from a wipe to a dab and have confidence? Well, that's what here, I'm googling. Okay, okay. Here's the deal. You 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 take a little bit of toilet paper at the end once you're done. Once you know the drying is finished, even though it's never dry. And then and then you give the you give the one wipe, and it and it wipes the water away, and it's not dirty. It's it's fantastic. I remember not in the for very, Kara's husband. No, I remember in the Google very beginning. Bidet isn't cleaning my butt. I I remember in the very beginning wasn't always wasn't always clean. I think you just gotta push through. You gotta you gotta power you, through. You gotta power through. Turn turn that pressure turn up. Turn that humdinger. Turn that hum dingleberry <laughs> yeah. into a clean area. You know, like like filter. Get a nice shot oh, in there. Goodness. All right, we're moving on. Most people think that finding the right talent is harder than beating Owl at Liar Liar, but with Indeed, it's as easy as me winning at a food draft. If you are hiring, you need Indeed, because Indeed is the hiring partner where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. It's the only job site where you are guaranteed to find quality applications that meet your must-have requirements, or else you don't pay. So instead of spending hours on multiple job sites hoping to find candidates, Indeed is going to be with you every step of the way through the hiring process. They have time-saving tools with instant match. As soon as you post a sponsored job post, you get a short list of quality candidates with resumes on Indeed that match your job description. I can tell you from years in the past when I ran Broken Bowl Game Studios, hiring was the most important aspect of my job. You get that right, your business does well. You get that wrong watch out. So start hiring right now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at indeed.com slash ballers. The offer is valid through March 31st. Go to indeed.com slash ballers to claim your $75 credit before March 31st. Indeed.com slash ballers. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. <laughs> The Spitballers Draft. All right, this draft is called The Lone Survivor because we are drafting things oh. that you would do for fun if you woke up and you were the last person mm. left on Earth. I forgot all about this draft. This will mm. be... I'm going to be searching. 
So again, you're not just trying to you're not trying to make it the longest amount of time or play survival game. You are trying to have the most fun possible mm -hmm. as the last person on earth, which is an interesting question. It's a difficult question, I think. But Mike it has the first pick. Is. I and I'm really thrilled that I have the first pick in such an ambiguous draft. <laughs> Uh, Lucky. Yeah, yeah, I don't know that yeah. people are going to be stealing each other's picks here. Well, this is all... theoretically, I mean, I have, I think I have a few on my list that may get sniped okay. from me. But number one here, so uh, as I have become an adult, I have learned to love to learn about things. And if I am the last person on the earth, that means I can learn real secrets about what is going on and there is a place in nevada that people are not allowed to go but no one will be there to stop me so i will be visiting area 51 mm. i will be going inside i will be seeing what the secrets are all about probably getting disappointed i was gonna say when you when show up just, and it's just when it's just like military weapons they've been storing oil all these years <laughs> I'm going to make a prediction. Toothpaste? Here. What's this doing in here? <laughs> My prediction is that you will never find it. <laughs> there was, no, the, people the, know where it is. Sure. Sure. People know where it is. But Your I mean, GPS the infrastructure of the work, world, so yeah, GPS need... isn't working. Internet's not working. There's no sign saying Area 51 that way. You know, I could find the White House if I had to. You I'm pretty find sure it. I could find it. I'm pretty Man. sure. Well, I mean, apparently you found it, right? You, you would not it. have sure. us to brag to about finding it. No, no, but this, we would be gone. At this, at know this the point, truth. if you're the last person on Earth, you just want the satisfactory. You want to know what's going on in there. All okay. Right. All right. So you're going to Area 51. That would be fun for you if you were the last person on Earth. Jason, you yeah. are you are I, on the clock. Look, I know that if I was the last person on Earth, this this would be what I would be. This would be the most fun. This is why I got this background here. I am moving in to a solar operated beach mansion i'm finding it i'm gonna go up and down the coast <laughs> until there's a monstrous beach house that's got this powered by solar power and i am i'm moving in and i'm living my best life right on the water all right that that's what i'm doing for fun that's fun number one is i is i wonder something if you just woke up let's just say everybody on earth disappeared right mm -hmm. this moment mm -hmm. except for you how long until power actually goes out? That's a, a very interesting question. It would, I would imagine it would be weeks, probably. Right. But it, right. I mean, it's not like I'm just next curious year how power. long it would take for power to go out. Yeah, not probably not that long. A week? Oh, man, man, that's, that's a, an interesting question. Does anyone that's what, work for the power company? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, when I was going through and thinking about this right before the show those type of questions kept coming to my mind about how long infrastructure and stuff jason i actually had uh a similar answer to you which was like to find a rich beach neighborhood and just live in every house i was gonna yeah. bounce from house Ooh, to house very nice but yours uh I'm, yeah th that makes sense to me that would be if fun. there was a neighborhood that all had solar that'd be good but I, i'm look i need my air conditioning um for other reasons I, i'm gonna need electricity in the house other reasons than a normal person needs air conditioning? Other or just reasons <laughs> that I might draft, I mean, my friend, okay. that I don't want to say. Uh, oh, all right. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. Look, for me, the first thing that came to my mind, and so it'll be my first pick, is the, uh, the natural one of, look, everybody's gone. I can take any car I want. I can drive as fast as I want. Oh, man, that's on my list. So I'm going to just drive as fast as I want in the best cars. And yeah. I researched this right before the show. Gas takes about two years to go stale. Not mm. to mention, I mean, there's there could be some electric stuff figured out. But I'm going to get on the roads, and I got no restraints. So, so ultimate uh, joyride is, okay, is number so one for you're, fun. You're going... Yeah, I have drag race on driver. freeway was on my list. Okay, yeah. so you're going through. So I want to know if I can draft this. It's, it's somewhat similar, but, but it's actually a totally different thing. I'm not going fast. I it's want similar, but no, it's it's not even similar at the well, same you'll, time. Well, you'll you'll see. I would be driving around in a monster truck. That would be. I'm driving over all these. I'm crushing every car on the road. I'm just okay. smashing. There now, are the, there the are, problem there. Yes. It, the problem there is that it's not your pick. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> shoot! <laughs> it's happened again. Oh no! 
Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, the, now here's the real question. The thing, that really, I, the thing that really stinks is I don't want that pick. Oh. Yeah, because you just drafted one. Like, because I thought about taking a pick, but no. I mean, I, I, I've got the ultimate joy ride, so I'm not stealing your pick. I hoped you said something better. That's the well, great news. Truth. We have, we know Jason's pick. Um, the second thing that I'm gonna do <laughs> is, uh, <sighs> man, I'm taking off my clothes. Yeah, oh. all right, it's on my list. It's on my list. Pants. I, if I'm optional. the last person, I'm just naked from here on out. Oh, we're back in the garden. See, oh, yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I thought about that. Do you go full? The garden of me, then. The, full the way uh, I came into the world. It's solely but, a matter of sun. Like, the, the yeah, sun. There, I mean, there's going to be some situations where you at least want, like, underpants. Yeah. Oh, it's just, it, it, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll uh, probably. An umbrella, maybe. <laughs> Depends where you live. But, um, but yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live, live free. All, All right. right. I'm gonna so look I am. Uh, you're on the clock here, I'm monster truck. Monster trucking everywhere I go. I'm yeah, driving okay. over everything. So Roads destroying. aren't a thing. I'm destroying everything. Okay, that's All pretty right. good. It's pretty good. All right, with my first pick, uh, I will have to find them. I mean, one Jason alluded to the White House. Uh, what came to yeah. my mind is like Mount Rushmore, and it's like I am going to go and I'm going to tag. All the monuments that I can possibly find. You're tagging them? You For no to one in- else to see. It doesn't matter, man. We're, we're just we're, destroying things? I am entertaining myself. You ever wanted to give George Washington a big old mustache okay. on Mount Rushmore? Uh, you Come have. On. That you would have. be pretty yeah. that would be pretty cool. And then step back and look at your handiwork and yes. laugh. Yeah, of course. What <laughs> at this point, if you're the last person alive, you're gonna want to keep yourself entertained. Every statue has a mustache in this country thanks to mike if i find them like if the aliens show up after mike's been alone for a little while they're like whoa this past race must have all had mustaches (laughs) uh so you got another pick and speaking of for what the aliens find i am choosing to believe that the infrastructure of the internet is still available so i am going to wikipedia and i am editing Everything that I possibly can to make sure that to make sure because when the aliens come down and figure like trying oh to research gosh. what has happened, look the historical documents of the internet. It's got to live forever. It's on a microchip, and they're gonna I, go. This Mike Wright character, he certainly was really important, and so I he invented everything. <laughs> everything that's ever been was invented by Mike Wright, but Why somehow couldn't save him? society. They all died. Must oh, have been it, it was, there will definitely there will be a page. Uh, last man on Earth, Mike Wright. Definitely not reason for for everyone else disappearing. There you I don't know. want the aliens to I blame because like Wikipedia is the authority that we have mm-hmm. is nowadays. <laughs> when aliens you know, have you ever, there, have you you ever tried to books. edit a Wikipedia page? It's very difficult. Exactly. There's no admins to approve what you're doing. You're just no, 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 no. There's no admins to take away what I just mm, did. All right. Okay. okay. Or people to read it. But here's what on. I here's what I think. I think if 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 we woke up and we were in this situation, it's just us left. Uh, there's no chance that you would do that. <laughs> And, but the, uh, but you can bet your butt I'm really riding around in a monster truck. You know what else I'm doing? I'm shooting bazookas everywhere. I am going to find bazookas. Jason just wants to blow everything up. <laughs> Nothing matters. None of this stuff. Ma- I'm, you know what? I'm- I think that that is Jason- a problem because my next pick was blow Ooh. things up. Yeah. Well, here's oh. the problem with, with both of you guys. You will quickly become last man on earth to no men on earth. <laughs> That's, that's okay probably true, because and that's fine. Most last people on Earth eventually um, don't want to be. Eventually, Let's put yeah, it that this, way. This is an eventual thing. You Which guys is will... why I would think about like flying a plane. Because Exactly. 100%. Are, there's no way. Exactly. Every man not dies. Not every so, man truly lives. So if you're shooting bazookas, can I draft blow things up, or has that been drafted? I think it's been drafted. That's up to Al. It's been drafted. Okay, it's up to Mike. Yeah, it's, I'm it's already blow- I'm bl- yeah, I'm blowing stuff up. I'm going around blowing everything. I'm super up. disappointed. I I'm really not, wanted I'm, that. All I'm right. Excited. Well, I'm starting loop- with your house. I'm loopholing you guys right here. First thing I'm uh, next thing I'm doing to have fun being the last person on earth. Mm-hmm. I'm fine. I'm finding a dog. 
Mm. Yeah, I'm all right. Fi- I'm finding a companion. Right. Companionship. Mm. I can really roam the world and have a much better time with a companion. And uh, I'm learning cloning. <laughs> <laughs> so that, right. I will. I will okay. find. I will find a dog. All right. That's... I can't. I can't blow stuff up anymore. I probably don't have one of the things I think about doing if I'm alone is some complex stuff like the flying a plane or like figuring out how to, uh, I don't know, can you do a cloning thing or can you self-replicate? But I can't figure the science out and I'm not going to be able to teach myself. You're probably mm-hmm. going to want to put pants back on too. I probably yeah. have to put pants. <laughs> <laughs> the Petri dishes, you know, whatever experiments you're doing, you so, don't want those. But to I'm be. trying to have fun, right? Yes. So that's the point here. What is the most fun? So I have one pick left. And uh Bet you wish you could blow stuff up, huh? Well, I, I have two options and I just don't know which one's more fun. And I think <laughs> I think I'm gonna find a huge throne and I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit on it as the, <laughs> as the king of the world. Where are you gonna find a throne? And, uh, wherever there has to be thrones somewhere, I can oh, get yeah. over one Where? of the questions okay, I have. No. Give me give me Give me a few places where you're going to look for the throne. I don't need it to be real, Mike. I can get the Game of Thrones thrown out of uh, Hollywood or something. Yeah, or right. I, ha- I have wondered, could I get myself to like overseas? Could I do that? Sure. If you're alone, could, maybe. You, could you pull mm, that off? Probably not. <laughs> you went from sure <laughs> yes. to maybe to <laughs> probably, probably not. And not. honestly, I was with Mike every step of that journey <laughs> because I was like, yeah, you can go wherever you want. Well, how would you go? You'd have to... No, you're dead. Yes, that's 100%. You are not making it. No, because so, the only way that you could land, land, oh. dock that boat is crashing, just no, crashing no, no. into the... If you go, if you go up through Alaska, and then, like, because we learned oh, that Oh, you're saying Alaska, do that two-mile trip? Alaska's very, very close to Russia, so then mm-hmm. you could get on the, uh, over to the the Asian continent and you could, you could get it around. Yeah. But could I survive a death. trip up through Alaska? No, no that's so, I mean, I stand with, no, no I will way. be <laughs> eaten by so many bears, so many bears. And there's no humans to stop the bears. Anymore. You'll just see, I'll, I'll get in. I'll, the second I cross the Alaskan border, you'll see this naked man and his dog <laughs> running from giant bears. I would be doomed. So I'm oh, going to become about animals. Yeah. You're, you are dead. Yeah, the animals will rule the world at that point. That's yeah. where the dog will come in handy okay. in some capacity. So I am on... Better have a few. So, Jason, you're up. Mike has... Uh, he wants to recon Area 51. He wants to tag some national monuments. He wants mm-hmm. to take over Wikipedia. Mm-hmm. Jason wants to steal a, a solar beach mansion, a monster truck joyride, uh, shoot some bazookas. Oh, and man, I have, that sounds awesome. I have an ultimate joyride in whatever vehicle I want. As fast as I want, I'm gonna get naked and then find a dog. Compa- <laughs> I want to find a dog companion and sit on a throne and become king, the naked king. Yeah, oh, I would, the I would naked not, king. Uh, just throwing this out there because of your attire. I would be not careful with the, the throne. Game of Thrones throne. <laughs> yeah, be careful. Uh, it's gonna be the, hot. I'll it's put pants be, on for yeah. my when I uh, rule. Maybe some chainmail. Um, all right, I am on the last pick, and I'm I'm wondering two. I got two ways I can go here. Um, you know, I, I feel like in truth, if I'm going to have fun, I feel like I need to raid some archives. There have to be somewhere, some governmental or, or, or business. Nothing more fun than archives. That's archives what I've always said. of collecting the, the largest DVD collection on the planet. I'm going to take every hmm. DVD that has ever, I mean, Look, sometimes I need to be entertained. There's no new DVDs, things being made. He says, <laughs> "Yeah, well, it, I'm not living in a world where internet still exists. Yes. There's a, but there's a whole there's Blu-ray. You went back multiple <laughs> generations. Are you well, collecting all the cassettes too? That, no, that's what I that's what I call I call blue Blu-rays DVDs. No, you don't. You call DVDs DVDs. You're telling me. Hold on, real quick, real quick. You guys have Blu-ray players, and let's say you bought a a a, a Blu-ray. A Blu-ray. You yeah. literally would say to your wife. Oh, get the Blu-ray of this. Yes. Co- no, yeah. you don't. I've yes. never called it something a different name because it You have never It's a different thing. No way. I we I've Al. only referred to Blu-rays Al. as DVDs in They're my life. They're Blu-rays. Unbelievable. <laughs> 
Well, you know what? <laughs> en- enjoy. What, is, what resolution is a DVD? Is that 720? 728? Yeah. And he's a- watching it on a giant screen in his beach mansion, so it's all pixelated. <laughs> You're watching as many pixelated movies as you can, and he knows oh, it. I can see it on his face. I knew I should have gone peeing off the Empire State Building. Dang it. Ooh, that, 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 was, uh, that was possible for me. Yeah. But yeah. I went with tagging the monuments instead. Well, all right. Well, I, hey, look, I'm still going to be oh. entertained. It's the best entertainment that's out there. You have it a might big not DVD the collection. Def, the, you can do that now, that and you're not even the last person on Earth for a few Yeah, but I don't need DVD. to do it now. Right now, I can I can watch streaming shows and have new content coming out when when i'm the last person on earth there's never gonna be a new show ever again i would say there's no internet so i can't stream anything and when i collect like five hundred thousand old school dvds it's gonna be awesome now maybe you guys have heard this al borland I'll, i guess i will direct it to you like the library of congress i've mm-hmm. heard that they have like collections of basically everything that's ever been created in my my way off there have you heard about this at all i have heard the same thing i can't okay. verify it but i've heard it mm. that's what i assume i will be rating. so there, there you go there's your entire collection enjoy your <laughs> enjoy your they, tube tv you know what the truth is they are probably <laughs> still stuck at dvd they haven't gone over to blu-ray yet <laughs> and that's why i chose dvd all right mike so- you get to close this out so what's funny, so I, like on my list, I have moved to the White House, but that's basically just very similar to what Jason was. He wants to move somewhere. I'm going to need a real passion project to keep my Ooh. mind occupied uh, so I don't slip into the void, the vortex that is I am the last person on Earth. And my favorite movie ever made is, is Die Hard. So I am going to create a shot-for-shot remake of Die Hard using Legos. Using Legos and stop animation. So I will create this masterpiece. Yes, it's only for me. I don't care. That's what art is all about. I'm making it for myself. And I know that this thing's going to take me a really, really long time to make. The longer the better, Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Just so I can unravel this. You're mm-hmm. saying you're going to do this because mm-hmm. you need to entertain your brain. So you're trying to pick something that you would enjoy doing so you don't go insane. And what yes. you've chosen is a shot-for-shot Lego animation of Star Wars. That or, I mean, no, no, Die Hard. Die Hard. Die Hard, yes. That yeah. is, uh, you could have given me 150 million guesses and I never <laughs> would have chosen that one. <laughs> Well, this is really, I didn't think DVDs and Legos, uh, Lego <laughs> animations, were going to close the draft out. I'll be honest with you. Ooh, well, I'd build a house out of Legos. So, That'd be fun. Yeah, I had, see, I, had awesome. I had some other ideas. I had some other ideas. All right, uh, let's hear we, We've closed it out. But uh, uh, one was fly, fly a plane, uh, but that wouldn't end. I mean, it it's would be, not, no, that's how I would end well. it. That's how mm-hmm. it would end it all. Yeah. Um, a- along with my idea of taming lions and riding them. I don't think that would go well either. So, but poop you would need a baby lion. Poop wherever I oh, want, dude. I mean, you can poop wherever you want. That's fun. Yeah, oh, that's that true. is great. That's, that's great. You poop everywhere. Um, well, now Jason's uh, but got I, an idea here. I did have an idea. You could absolutely fly a plane. You could one hundred percent. You don't need that. Pl- you just parachute every time. You take oh, a parachute. Yes. Fly it wherever Wait, you that want. That assumes you could take off. No, yeah. I think I, no. That's what I think. I think we could take off. I really do. I mean, we're gonna train Eventually. a little bit. We're sure. gonna fi- we're gonna find a a, 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 sim- a simulator. We're gonna train, but we don't have to train the landing. Well, it's not we. It's you. I'm saying, you know, like Jason, this is what I would do. This is what let, you do. This is what let we me ask could you this. do. Where are you going to train the parachuting? Boeing. Oh wait, the parachuting. Yeah, like the the, the really important part of jumping out of a plane is knowing. That your parachute is packed correctly, that y- the falling technique, how to do that correctly. Like, there's a lot of things in, in just he jumping jumped, out of a plane. He jumps out of that plane and he's torn up by a rotor. That's the first thing that happens. <laughs> he's, I, mean, he I, jumps, I get your jump, idea, but your like idea the is most, genius. Your idea the is most great. important part is knowing how to parachute. You could one way trip every single flight because you just let the yeah. plane crash wherever it goes. Absolutely. It crashes. I'll find another plane and fly that one back. And that would be fun because as you explore the world, you'd eventually find some of your old crashes <laughs> here and oh, there. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> And and you say, oh, could I make it to that continent? Get a big commercial jetliner that's full of fuel, fly it all the way over, and then okay, parachute. You're not, no, you're not getting the you're not getting the jet off the ground. 
You're not flying a 747. It's not like I've got to lift it harder. It does the work, you know? It's like, okay, it's big. That doesn't make it more difficult to take off. It's more difficult. That's why you have to train There are a lot of buttons, Jason. You don't just like, there's not just a start and then up. But to be fair, this is the guy who's convinced he could land a... 747 then, so it's with someone in my ear tell me what to do You're last darn right. one last one that i thought would be fun i thought about moving into an arena like madison square garden so mm, i could like okay. play some basketball out there on the court you know maybe i'm watching too many jordan documentaries I, I had, that seems like a fun place to hang out sure. I, I i had thought about moving into you know you've got all these mansions well move into a resort i mean oh. it's like you know, you've got like eight hundred thousand rooms and a golf course and all that but the reality is you need it to be powered, and I I don't know of any resort in the right. world that's powered by solar power. So I was go- so you got to go down to a mansion. You really need friends in this situation. <laughs> well, you a have few one. friends yeah. would really if you had said the three of us, what do we do? That would be a whole other story. Like you have your dog friend, and I have uh, Lego John McClane. Yeah, 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 it's the same thing. <laughs> um, what did we learn today? Uh, I learned a lot. That I did. I wish I hadn't. I learned the back of the bus is a, a dangerous place, and oh, I learned. Man. And I, I learned that Jason just like, loves DVDs. Just loves oh, DVDs. Man. His favorite well, look, format of all time. They don't make movies like they used to. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? Oh my gosh! Yes, yes. I learned, I learned that the most important part of uh, parachuting is <laughs> knowing how to parachute. Oh. Is actually being able to land stick the landing as they say yeah that's what they say and and i learned that there is a way to confuse how to use a bidet even though there's just an on and off switch that's right that's right it's a confusing place for (laughs) some people mike it's pretty binary Eh, not no there's bidets you got you got is it moving is it hot is it cold is it most of them don't have that jason we all don't have your fancy tornado tornado mode Mm. oh no it's dangerous chipotle mode (laughs) a shot for shot remake mike that that got me thanks spitwads we'll see you later i think it'll be really fun goodbye thanks for listening to the spitballers podcast to see what other nonsense the guys are up to check out spitballerspod.com